welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd start a new segment on this channel called Wee Wee, which is short for Will I Wear It? And it's a complete review segment. So I will be reviewing different types of products in this segment and the final verdict will be whether I will wear it or not. So today's Wee Wee, I'm reviewing the Maybelline Fit Me range. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish Foundation the press powder as well as the fit me concealer. So I will be swatching the shades that I have. I will also be listing the pros and the cons of each and every product as well as showing you how I wear it. So if this segment is kind of interesting to you and you want to see if I will actually wear the Maybelline Fit Me range, then let's get started. So I've applied the foundation how I always apply it, right on top of primer. I've also used the Miracle Sponge by Real Techniques, which is my favorite way to apply any foundation, especially foundations that dry more matte. This helps your foundation look almost like another layer of your skin itself. This foundation claims to be mattifying and to refine the pores on your skin. It also says that it matches the natural tone of your skin and leaves you with a natural and seamless finish which is true. It does have a very seamless finish and it is very very natural looking. Especially for people who are slightly more oily, this won't like dry up your skin but this also won't make you look really greasy. So in India, the Matte and Polis Fit Me Foundation comes in 6 shades, each retail for 525 rupees. Even though this foundation dries matte, on the skin it feels like a very satiny texture. It is also quite silicone which is what makes it matte. It's definitely not sheer, it gives you good coverage especially when I use a second layer only on those parts of my skin like where I had acne scarring on my cheeks or around my jawline. What I love about this foundation a lot is it's very very blendable so whether you use a brush or a sponge or any other applicator that you like even if you're using your fingers it's really really blendable it just blends into your skin very seamlessly. It has a really short drying period which means instantly once you start putting it on your face it does kind of settle into your face and dry. It's better to use it on more combination to oily skin, it does settle more matte on those skin textures. If you use it on dry skin, I find that it does show up a little bit of the dryness or the texture of the skin. What I really like about this foundation especially in India is it's mostly yellow tone so out of the six shades. Four are yellow tone and two are pink tone which is good because Indians are more yellow tone but you have to give kind of variety to other skin tones as well. I also think this is one of the greatest drugstore foundations in India for oily skin because I, I have really oily skin right in my t-zone and I haven't set it yet I'm just talking to you right after I've applied the foundation and I don't feel like I have foundation on my face at all like I can do this and nothing will come on my fingers and nothing will come off my face. I find that the staying power on this foundation is quite good it stays on me for around 5 hours. If you are wearing this in super humid conditions and you're already combination to oily skin, then I would think that the staying power would be around 2 to 2 and a half hours. You might have to touch up a little afterwards because it's not going to really come off your skin. One thing I really love about this foundation is it's so affordable. It's 525 rupees and you don't feel the pinch when you're buying this because this is my second bottle and you can go through these quite quickly. I use the shade 310 Sun Beige and it is slightly darker for me but my face is darker than the rest of my my body so it does match my face quite well. Certain things I don't like in this foundation even though there aren't too many is firstly it doesn't have a pump so I always have to remove it on my hand or always have a palette or remove it directly on the brush or sponge which really clogs up the pores of the sponge. I would prefer that it would have a pump and all foundations come with a pump or some kind of applicator like a dropper tool or something. But for the price, I mean you're obviously not going to get everything. We have so many different skin tones and skin textures just in our country that in India having only 6 foundations in your range, especially in colour, is a small drawback. This foundation is quite liquidy, it is nowhere close to a moussey texture and it is even more liquidy than my MAC Studio Fix. Maybelline Fit Me foundation compares very well to the MAC Studio Fix fluid. I am in the shade NC35. The Studio Fix fluid is more than 3 times the price of the Fit Me foundation. So if you're looking for a drugstore buy for more combination to oily skin and you really want that matte look then the Studio Fix Matte and Polish is the way to go. The best way to wear the Fit Me foundation is with a primer underneath. I use the Colourpop Perfect Matte primer and this has been my true trusty best friend for life. My next best trick to apply this is using a wet sponge. If you're using more matte foundations then it's better to use a sponge than a brush because it really goes and settles into your skin, makes your skin look more matte rather than looking like an entire layer of cake on your skin. So what I've gone ahead and done is applied this concealer just under my eyes and around my lips 
because I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Now to be fair to this concealer and see how it actually works without dark circles because it's not really a corrector concealer, I have gone ahead and corrected my under eyes. For that I've used the Freedom Pro Conceal and Correct Palette and I've used the orange shade in that. So that the results are not tampered with because this is a scientific experimentation and this is will I wear it. So will I wear it or not depends on all scientific evidence which we will find out today. That's why I've gone ahead and applied it with the different Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. So this is the one I use for the foundation and this is the one I use for the concealer. That makes sure that I don't have any leftover product from the foundation tampering with how the concealer performs. So in India this concealer comes in three shades and I'm using the shade medium that's the number 25. It is the darkest shade in the collection. These retail at 500 rupees each. So I bought the same concealer in the same shade from India and from Canada. This is the one from Canada and India. Both are the number 25 medium and you can see that the Indian one is much more yellow toned. Let's go into what I like about the concealer a lot. I've just put the concealer on with no powder and it hasn't set into any lines or any creases as yet. It's super blendable and you can even use a brush or your finger with it if you want. It does give you medium coverage which means it is not super sheer which is good for a concealer. Now what I like about this shade especially is that it's yellow tone so it will suit a lot of girls that have a yellow undertone. It also comes with a doe foot applicator which is really easy to apply so you can just go ahead directly apply it under your eyes or get into any other crevices of your face that you want to conceal. The packaging is super simple it's just a normal plastic tube you can see through when you're done with the product so that's good because then I can tell how much product is left inside. The concealer is super lightweight and what makes it even better is that it has a staying power of almost 5 hours. This is a fantastic dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer and it's almost one-fifth of the price. Now the things about this concealer that I'm not a big fan about, it only comes in three shades which I cannot emphasize enough, India needs more shades. We have so many different skin tones even in the normal spectrum of yellow, pink and neutral that we need more shades than just three. All the three shades in the range lean towards the lighter side and I really want to see more deeper shades for my darker skin girls. Now my concern with this with regard to cost is that the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polis Foundation which is 30 ml costs 525 rupees while this concealer if it's in the same range it costs 500 rupees which is just 25 less than a foundation which has so much more product than the concealer. Just going by that analysis the concealer should cost little less but indeed it is quite affordable. It doesn't directly counter or correct my under eye circles which I really look for in a concealer because I don't always want to wear like corrector and then go ahead and wear concealer. So this is like a very natural thing it will show your darker circles or if you have any sort of hyperpigmentation it may not cover it completely. So the third and the final part of the range that I'm reviewing today is the Maybelline Fit Me Set Plus Smooth Press Powder. I have this in the shade 130 that is buff beige. So the product description says it's for normal to dry skin, naturally sets makeup, smoothens the skin's texture and blends seamlessly. This Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder comes in 4 different shades and it retains for 475 rupees. What I really like about this is it has a very sturdy plastic packaging and you can also see like the colour from the front. But then you open it up and it has a whole compartment with a mirror and a sponge. That's really cool because I think every compact powder should come with a mirror because it's much easier to take like only the compact powder to touch it up. It also comes with a sponge in this section but I've only used it once that's the day I bought it just to see the quality of it and I haven't used it since because I find that it's much easier for me to apply it with a brush than this sponge. Now what I love a lot about any compact powder is that it must not be cakey and this is exactly that. It is super lightweight, super comfortable to wear. You can go ahead and set like a lot of your face with this and it will not look cakey. It's super finely milled and it has a very nice natural glow to it. The natural glow in this comes from small shimmer particles that are very finely milled into this press powder. Now I mentioned earlier that the Fit Me foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige is slightly darker for me. So to counter that, the Fit Me 130 Buff Beige is a really good shade for me because it's almost exactly my skin tone and when I apply a thin layer of this just to set my foundation and my concealer, it really evens out my skin tone and it also helps to correct the darkness that the foundation brought to my face. This powder is quite mattifying because I am sitting in a really hot room with lights right on me and I do get slightly sweaty in my t-zone but I have set my concealer and my foundation with this powder and right now I'm having no problems. 
I feel like when you use a brush that's this densely packed with bristles, this powder gets picked up and it just transfers the product to only one patch on your face is where you're applying it first. I find that with brushes like this where the bristles are slightly thinner and they're also not so densely packed together, it picks up the product really well and transfers it more evenly. So I mentioned earlier that they are 425 rupees and for the product and the performance that you're getting, it's a really good buy. So I think it's a super affordable, good choice. So for combination to oily skin, I find that this stays on for around 3 hours without any touch up, especially if you're not in very humid conditions. So this does say that it's for normal to dry skin, so what it won't do is completely mattify you, especially if you have more oily skin. So one thing that I don't understand is these shades do not match the foundations. I wish like each foundation like number 310 had a pressed powder to match it. Again, there's only 4 shades in the range and I am urging all companies that are in India to just bring us more shade selections and a larger range. So like I said about the foundations, out of 6 of them, 4 of them are yellow toned. But out of 4 of the pressed powders, only 1 is yellow tone and the rest are pink undertone. So I would have loved if we had colours that had more yellow undertones. Now this does have small glitter particles which I am not a big fan about because I have slightly oilier skin also so it will show up as more greasy later on but because it looks so natural and it's so finely milled, they don't look as bad. I also suggest that you don't really set your under eyes with this because it will dry out more as well as have small shimmer and glitter particles under your eyes which is not a good look. Like I said, the best way to apply this is with a brush that have thinner bristles and are less densely packed together. You could also dust off the glitter by tapping on top and then go ahead and apply it. That way you'll get less visible glitter on your face. So that's the final look. I wore the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well as the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. I've also gone ahead and applied some bronzer, blush and some liquid lipstick to finish up the look. So will I wear it? The final verdict is yes, I will wear this range. It's one of the best ranges that I've seen at the drugstore. Super affordable, really nice for people with my skin texture. It looks very nice, matte, gives you that more flawless finish and it's super, super worth every single penny. If you guys like such videos and you want to see more in this wee wee segment, then don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel before you guys leave and don't forget to click the bell icon that way you can turn on post notifications and you will be notified every time I post a video. You can also follow me on my social medias or comment down below and tell me what you want to see next. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at we Make Up Life and Snapchat at the rate Tina Tengra. See you next time. Bye! <laughs> with the foundation you can use shut up crow place as pout please mr crow <coughs>